Welcome Letchworth Detectives. I'm Conrad. I'm an outdoor educator with the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation at Letchworth State Park, and today I have a mystery for you. I found a really unusual tree, and I think we can use some nature clues and some park history clues to figure out what kind of tree this is and how it helps us every single day. Our first nature clue, looking closely at some of its needles. We look at these needles, look how super duper long they are. Way longer than any other kind of needle, any other kind of evergreen tree that I would expect to see around this part of the United States. These needles, I usually would use my fingers to compare to the size of them, but that's almost no use because it's way, way longer than my pinky finger, way longer than any of my fingers, it's longer than even my whole hand. Super duper long, beautiful needles. Looking more closely at those needles, do you see how they're coming out of the twig in bundles, in bunches? They're not all coming out along evenly along the stem. They're coming out of the twig in bundles, in bunches. And that already lets us narrow this down to some kind of pine. Our third and final nature clue. Look closely at those bundles. Do you see how many needles are coming out of each bundle? One, two, three needles from each and every bundle. That's a pretty unusual number of needles to be coming out of a bundle of pine needles in this part of the United States. Let's put all those nature clues together. We have uh, really, really long needles coming out of this twig. They are all in bundles, and those bundles have three needles each. This must be a ponderosa pine, sometimes also called a western yellow pine. And as you can guess from the name, this kind of pine tree does not normally grow in this part of the United States, doesn't even grow in this part of North America. This kind of tree is native or has developed in the fossil record in the far western United States, way out towards California. And look how tall and straight it is. Ponderosa pines are really tall and straight trees. They have a lot of good uses for us as lumber. You might see cabinets made out of ponderosa pine. You might see molding, intricate woodwork in houses made out of ponderosa pine. You might see boxes, you might see shelves, you might see all different kinds of things. Ponderosa pine is one of the most versatile kinds of lumber, kinds of wood, in the entire world. Ponderosa pine is very useful to human beings as a lumber tree. But this ponderosa pine was not planted here to be used for lumber. Sometimes when you see ponderosa pines or very unusual kinds of trees in Letchworth State Park, you might see a historical marker nearby. It's a sign that tells you when those trees were planted. And a lot of folks, when they see a conservation project or a very old construction project in Letchworth State Park, they assume that that work was done by the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps. And the CCC did do a lot of conservation and construction projects in Letchworth State Park. But if you look at the historical marker by this plantation of Ponderosa Pine, you see that it was planted too long ago for it to have been done by the CCC. The CCC wasn't even developed until 1933. So this plantation is older than that. It would have been planted before the CCC, before the New York State Park System, by the American Scenic and Historic Preservation Society. Big long name for a big wide reaching organization. And they would have planted these trees according to the wishes of William Pryor Letchworth. He was the guy who owned the home and estate that is now the Glen Iris Inn next to the ice fountain down towards the Middle Falls. And it was his wish that when he passed away in 1910 that this area of the park that was historically farmland be reforested and established as a quickly growing, quickly reforesting plantation of trees. And they picked for that task the ponderosa pine, which is a pretty fast growing tree. When it's just getting started for the first years, years of its life, it can grow a foot a year, 12 inches every single year. It slows down as it gets older, but that's a pretty fast growing tree. You'll notice Scots pines and white pines and red pines in other plantations. And they were picked for a similar reason. 
they grow really fast, and they were pretty inexpensive to get as seedlings. If you want to have an adventure, go try to find some ponderosa pine in your neighborhood. Now, don't feel bad if you can't find any, because remember, it's a very unusual tree to find in this part of the world. But notice the needles on your local pine trees. Count the numbers of needles in each bundle. If you see three, it could be a ponderosa pine. If you see five, it might be a white pine. If you see two, it might be a red pine or a Scots pine. You can do a little more research to figure out who is who. If you really want to put your Letchworth detective skills to the test, come try to find some ponderosa pine in Letchworth State Park. If you do find some, look for some historical markers that tell you when they were planted, which might give you a clue as to who planted them. Well, thank you so much for joining me for today's Letchworth mystery. If you have any questions about ponderosa pine or other kinds of pine trees, please put a comment in the comment section below the video. Share this video with your friends to put their Letchworth detective skills to the test. And as always, like Letchworth State Park's Facebook page to stay tuned for more Letchworth mysteries.